What's up, everybody? Welcome to another episode with my pal Alex and Feisty Pants. What's up, everybody? I'm just showing off my Yankee hat. Um, what's up, everybody? Welcome to uh, another episode of Hot Stove. This is number nine. I lost track. Not a lot going on uh, this past week with the winter trade. Uh, winter meetings uh, dying down a bit. The Mets uh, have re-signed right-handed pitcher Bartolo Colon to a one-year, $7.3 million contract. This man does not age. He um, pitched for the Yankees a couple years ago, and uh, even then, like, you know, they were saying, oh, he's old, he's done, and blah, blah, blah. And he goes on to have a surgence in his career, and he's he's got to be like 73. I don't know. <laughs> not really. Uh, there was a three-team trade last week. The White Sox get uh, third base Todd Frazier, local hero here in the uh, New Jersey parts. Uh, the Reds pick up uh, in the trade um, shortstop slash second base infielder Jose Peraza, outfielder Scott Shebler, and utility player Brandon Dixon. Utility player usually means that you can play most of the nine positions on the field. Um, and the Dodgers, third team in the trade, get outfielder Trace Thompson, second base Micah Johnson, and right-handed pitcher Frankie Montaz. So it looks like Todd Frazier is the big part in that trade because the, the White Sox um, only got the one player and had to give up a lot. Um, the Angels sign Daniel Nava, outfielder Daniel Nava, to a one-year deal. The Indians sign first base Mike Napoli. Napoli started out as a catcher. Nothing to do with the Yankees, but I'm just showing off my hat. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to read it like this. What do you think? I'm just going to read it down. I can't even see that you can see that. Here we go. Uh, Napoli to a one-year, $7 million contract. $7 million contract. I'm sorry. Uh, former Yankees first base Garrett Jones uh, takes a one-year deal, $2.5 million, plus incentives incentives and bonuses with the Yumiri Giants. He's going over to Japan to play. All right. Uh, Colorado sign, extends the contract of right-handed pitcher Adam Ottavino to three years, $10.4 million. Uh, the A's uh, made a couple moves here. They signed right-handed pitcher Jared Parker to a one-year contract, $850,000. And they signed uh, right-handed pitcher A.J. Griffin to a minor league deal. Griffin hasn't pitched since 2013, he's been out with Tommy John surgery. Um, Detroit Tigers sign infielder Mike Avilas to a one-year deal. Uh, last three seasons with Cleveland, he's uh, in 2015. He let's see, what did he do? He batted 231, five homers, 17 RBIs in 98 games. Um, Avilas has been around a while. I'm glad he's still playing because he's not hung up. He's not. He's not done yet. Um, the Detroit Tigers also uh, traded left-handed pitcher Kyle L Lostein, Lobstein for a uh, for cash to the Pittsburgh Pirates, and uh, San Diego signs left-handed pitcher Buddy Bauman to a one-year deal, not too shabby, and there's still there's still a good bunch of free agents out there. I don't know where these guys are going. Uh, Chris Davis, uh, first base, little outfield. Still out there, second base, Daniel Murphy, Howie Kendrick. Third base, uh, Nubi Nubihiro Mats Matsuda. Matsuda? I butchered that. <laughs> right. Third, uh, shortstop, Ian Desmond. Catcher, Taylor Teagarden. Outfielders, Denard Spann. Alex, G Alex Gordon. Uh, Dexter Fowler. Uh, Gerardo Parra and Jonas Cespedes. And uh, pitchers, uh, Wei Yin Chen, Greg Holland. Um, now, Greg Holland is still out with Tommy John surgery, probably till August, but, I mean, he's still available. Um, Kenta uh, Maeda and Ian Kennedy. I'd love to see Ian Kennedy come back to the Yankees. <laughs> right? Um, and then, to close it out, the uh, Boston Red Sox uh, are going to retire. Wade Boggs is number 26. Uh, Boggs was a first ballot Hall of Famer um, in the 2005 uh, inductees. Uh, Brock Holt has worn 26 the last two seasons with Boston, but he's going to switch to number 12. And in 11 seasons with Boston, Boggs is an eight-time All-Star. I wrote this all down. 
He's an eight-time All-Star. He led all major leaguers with a 338 average, 2,098 hits, 422 doubles, 428 on-base percentage, uh, your OBA, and reaching base safely 3,124 times. Uh, he also led the league six times with on-base percentage and six Silver Slugger Awards. Uh, he earned six Silver Slugger Awards and recorded at least 200 hits in a season in a franchise record seven seasons. The boy ain't too shabby. His 338 batting average with Boston, career average with Boston, is second only to Ted Williams, who is a big deal. If you don't know who Ted Williams is, Google it or open a book, God forbid. Um... <laughs> That's all the hot stove for this week. Uh, like this video, leave me a comment, and subscribe for more.